Fox News alert, President Trump holding his first bilateral news conference as president with UK Prime Minister Theresa May. And it was short and sweet. Hello, everyone. I'm Sandra Smith. The two leaders reaffirming the close ties between the United States and Great Britain. The president says he believes they will have a fantastic relationship his words. We've got you covered. Uh, right Honorable Lord John Taylor of Warwick, a member of the House of Lords in the UK Parliament, is standing by. For more on this, let's bring in the Right Honorable Lord John Taylor of Warwick. He is a non-party affiliated member of the House of Lords, the Upper House of the UK Parliament, and David Drucker, Senior Washington Correspondent for the Washington Examiner. Lord Taylor, I'll start with you first. It was quite the news conference. It started about 10 minutes late, which was pretty much on time as far as that the Trump administration so far has shown. Um, but she, Theresa May started out by congratulating him on his stunning victory. She quickly moved to business. And and that was she reaffirmed their commitment to NATO. Listen to this, I want to get your response. On defense and security cooperation, we're united in our recognition of NATO as the bulwark of our collective defense. And today, we've reaffirmed our unshakable commitment to this alliance. Mr. President, I think you said you confirmed that you're 100% behind NATO. So you heard her reference that he did um, confirm that as well. We didn't hear that directly from him. Your thoughts, sir? Well, good afternoon and uh, greetings from London. I thought it was a very successful press conference. You talked about business. Well, I think President Trump and uh, uh, Premier May are very much about business. They're there to do trade deals. They're, they're there to uh, consolidate and improve upon this special relationship. It's a phrase that we used by Sir Winston Churchill after the Second World War. And I think there really is a bond between those two individuals and our two countries. And clearly also of importance uh, was a discussion on Russia. Uh, that was brought up, Lord Taylor. Sanctions on Russia was a big uh, point of conversation. Um, Theresa May and Donald Trump both said that they look to have great relationships um, with other countries. But Trump specifically said, uh, if we can have a relationship with Russia, it would be an asset. Uh, how did you think well, I that actually agree. I agree with that. I mean, making enemies of other countries isn't in our interests. And I believe that both countries, both uh, Britain and America, want one-on-one -on -one trade deals. Brexit gives that opportunity. We already trade with each other. We just want to do more. Let's well, remain positive, please. Right, we have and this two is strong leaders who have a positive vision mm -hmm. for our respective countries. Let's remain positive. Here's what the president said on torture specifically and what decisions he'll be making on that. Listen. General James Mattis, and uh, he has stated publicly that he does not necessarily believe in torture. I don't necessarily agree, but I would tell you that he will override because I'm giving him that power. I happen to feel that it does work. I've been open about that for a long period of time, uh, but I am going with our leaders. So it's not necessarily what he believes in, but he's going to rely on Mattis, he says. Lord Taylor? Well, in relation to Putin, the president will always put America first. So let's remember that. He won't be the poodle mm. of any other country. I'm quite sure about that. In relation to torture, it is illegal internationally. Uh, he was expressing his own opinion, but President Trump said he will listen to his advisors. So I don't see a problem there. Mm. All right. I think the media are looking for problems. Let's be more positive, please. Well, I believe in America. Well, they're I'm looking for to an American from Texas. To that's for sure, because there are a lot of problems out there. And, I'm going to have to leave it You've got a great president. We've got a <laughs> thank right. you. David, thank you. Lord thank Taylor, you. thank you for being here.